Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the program. You're to be congratulated for, for making it through a day of really exciting talks. And I have the opportunity and uh, the great pleasure of introducing the man that needs no introduction. <laughs> and that is the distinguished uh, Professor Dr. Norbert Jakubowski from the Federal Institute of Research Testing and uh, Research Directing Material Research. Uh, Norbert is going to give you a little overview of exactly how to publish your research results successfully. Thank you, Steve, for the kind introduction. Um, we have to do some technical arrangements because this is a presentation which is quite new at this symposium. So I have a surprise for you, but give me a minute. Another surprise. <laughs> there are two important informations. As you can see, my Chinese language is not that good. So I've tried to translate something from English to Chinese. And you have to tell me if I've done a good job or not. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, for instance, is this translation of how to get your research published? Yeah, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it works. <laughs> Um, because I'm completely exhausted at the end of the day, I've asked Liv if she, she could help me presenting this presentation. So I've split it, the lecture into two parts. Liv will present the first part. You know why that had happened. There's one main reason. Originally, it was our intention that that left good job should present this lecture. And he said, Norbert, you are my deputy, which was meaning that I had to present all my presentations and his presentations as well. This was two dis discussions, an interview at lunch, and now this lecture. So therefore, we have split the lecture. So Leave will present the first part, I will operate the computer, the translator. So this is the side of the translator, and the other side is the English version. And now, Liv, the floor is you for the first part of the lecture. So now you get to see how well coordinated Norbert and I are. It's like a test. Okay. So. What Norwich and I are going to talk about today is just to give you a little bit of background to the Royal Society of Chemistry, to RSC Publishing, which is part of the Royal Society of Chemistry, what we offer for authors, what we offer for our readers, the most important part, of course, which is how you can successfully or give yourself the best chance to successfully publish your work in our journals, and then, of course, why you should publish your research in jazz. And I could say, because it's a really fantastic journal, but I think Norbert will give you some more detailed reasons. And, of course, then we will have um, the opportunity to ask questions for all of this afternoon's talks, and Steve will help us with that part. Okay. So, the Royal Society of Chemistry is one of the largest organisations I'm still hoping the translation is good, for advancing the chemical sciences. Um, we have our professional body with 46,000 members worldwide, spread all over the world, with an internationally acclaimed publishing business. We have two buildings in the UK, this quite pretty one in London, and this not so pretty one where most of us work in Cambridge but it's a very nice area. So RSC Publishing is part of the Royal Society of Chemistry. Our publishing activities date back to 1841. Our oldest journal is Analyst. Started in 1841. 
1941. We now have about 30 journals and in 2009 our journals received about 35,000 submissions of which about 10,000 articles were published. And it's a very positive sign that I can tell you this year we will publish over 13,000 articles across our journals. We also have an online journal archive with 220,000 articles dating right back to the beginning of our activities in 1841. We publish over 80 books per year with about 350 titles in print and almost a thousand e-books and those are our books that are available online electronically. We also have some databases such as analytical abstracts that you might be familiar with and we publish some magazines, the best known of which is Chemistry World. And I don't know if you know but there is also Chemistry World China which is available online with information that is particularly relevant for researchers working here. So it's really interesting to see that across all of publications, the country that publishes the most research in, chem in chemistry is China since 2008. I'm sure that won't surprise you at all. For the first time, you can see the yellow line here. This is China. And in 2008, for the first time, China published more research papers, or Chinese researchers did, than those <coughs> in the United States. And that's just continuing to grow every year, really showing how exciting the research happening here is and how very um, interesting the research being carried out in Chinese laboratories is. The RSC is a very international publisher and although our office, or one of our offices, is based in the UK, it's very important to us that our journals reflect the international nature of the subjects that we are publishing. So you can see here that we have a very international readership with customers in over 150 countries. I don't know how well you can see this because it's quite small, but um, if we look here, the UK makes up about 8% of our readership, North America about 36%, and Asia Pacific about 28%, and of course that's growing all the time. So it's very interesting to see how these numbers are changing over time as we see more and more research groups growing up in different countries worldwide. In terms of authorship, at the moment the USA is our biggest contributor and China second and the UK third. But it's, I've just been looking recently and while in 2010 the USA are still just a little bit ahead, China is much closer than it was in 2009, so I expect by next year probably most of our, the largest number of our authors will come from China. We also have a very international referee database, and I know that's something that is very important to all of our authors, to know that our referees are coming from the same background that they are and really understand the circumstances in which you are working. So we have many, many referees in China and we are always looking for more people to become involved in refereeing articles for us. We have a number of offices all around the world. So I mentioned the two that are in the UK, in London and Cambridge. We have two offices in the United States, in Philadelphia and in Raleigh. We have two in China, um, in Beijing with Daping, uh, Daping that I'm sure many of you have met and we also have an office in Shanghai um, and we have just recently opened an office in Bangalore and um, for the Japanese members of our audience early next year we'll be opening an office in Tokyo in Japan. So it's very exciting to see that we have um, really international with offices all over the world which I think helps us to be much closer to the communities that we um, represent and to the work we are, want to bring to a really wide readership. Um, so in terms of what we offer to authors, our journals, I hope you have seen, are really globally visible so we can bring your work to readers all over the world. Another very important thing is that we offer travel grants, and I hope there might be a bit more information about that, but the, the important thing
thing is that if you publish with the RSC, then as an author, if you have three articles where you are the lead author, you can apply for money from the RSC to carry out, to travel, to carry out research with other groups. And I think that is a fantastic opportunity and I would really encourage you to please do apply. Very often, um, not as many people do apply as can, so it is absolutely worth your while taking advantage of that. We also try to make sure that we um, can provide the best service to our authors so that you know our journals have high impact factors, that we promote our top articles, we offer our authors discounts on our books. Our quality of service is really vitally important to us and it is one of the central features of everything that we do. We know that it's really important to you that your work is published quickly, so we want to offer you fast times to publication. And of course, our journals are abstracted in chemical abstracts, and they're listed in ISI and Scopus, many of them in Medline as well. So we, you really will find that your research will be easily um, discoverable and be able to be found easily by everybody that you would want to read it. Um, we also promote articles and we know that you want, we want to bring your research to as wide an audience as possible. And so for example articles which we call hot articles which are highly rated by referees are written up put on our website. Um, we also mention things like the top most read articles every month. And these all go on our blog, which Steve, who here is responsible for, um, he does get some help from people in the office doing these particular bits. But Steve is responsible for that and really bringing the news of the community to everybody as well. So if there is ever anything that you think should be highlighted, then Steve will be more than happy to help you bring that to a wide audience. We also include um, write-ups of articles in our members' magazine, Chemistry World, and that goes to our 46,000 members and is also read even more widely by um, members of um, other chemical societies with whom we have agreements, like the Chinese Chemical Society and also the chemical societies in Brazil, in Singapore, and several other countries. So as I mentioned, the travel grants, and I'll repeat this so that you have the Chinese version and can understand well what I'm saying in case I wasn't clear. So they do enable you to travel, to engage in collaborative research. You just need three publications <coughs> in the last five years. Now, we say preferably a senior author, but even if you are not the senior author, I would still encourage you to try and apply if you have one or two and then perhaps a third paper. And the grants are for up to £2,500 sterling. Um, so there is more information available on our website. So please do go and have a look. <coughs>